Hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts coming to you from my little studio in Sweet Home, Oregon. How is everyone today? So today I would like to work on the uh, Rachel's Weekly Challenge at Rachel at Roxy Creations Weekly Challenge. Woo! Got all that out. Um, she made a fold-over document. Um, had this idea for a fold-over document. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I went ahead and made one here that was just a plain one. I included in my little ephemera booklet or document holder a couple pieces of paper, um, a picture of a doily, an advertisement, a piece of coffee dyed paper, Triple V Vintage or Tailor Made Journals. Um, and then this is just, uh, of course, a single sided sheet. I could have covered this, but I did not. So, anyway, I just did that as my practice one, just to make sure I was <laughs> heading in the right direction. And I guess I am because it stays together. So this will go in um, my Christmas uh, ephemera. I like Gail Augustinelli's idea of doing one for Christmas, one or two for uh, the Christmas journal. So at the end of the year you have several Christmas things to go right into your book. So that will go over that way. Now I... Um, purchased some downloads, this is not nearly all of them, um, of documents. This one here is from Vintage and History at Etsy. So um, some really cool documents at her site. I bought quite a few of them, but I've only printed out this many on there. And then of course um, at Journalocity, same thing. Um, right now I only have printed out five or six, but um, she has some really old documents too. I didn't print those out, and receipts and stuff like that. I wanted to get some that were going this direction instead of, um, you know, instead of the long way. So anyway, that's we'll use those, some of those. And then Rachel at Roxy Creations has a lot of receipts. And isn't this one beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. That will make a good uh, document holder. And isn't that pretty? So I thought that maybe on some of these I would just glue two together. Now I'm going to ha run into some problem with ink because I um, my machine got caught up and it just kept going and going and going and I couldn't get it to stop. <laughs> so um, it is what it is. Um, there will be some ink seepage. So there is those. So let's take um, two of these. I love this one. I think I'll make that for the front. And I think maybe, well, the inside is already nice and coffee dyed. Do we need to put something in it? I guess if we did, then it would be a front and back page for a journal. And that would be okay. We could go this way. Why not? Let me get these back under her name so I don't get them mixed up with the others. Okay, so on these I'm going to glue them together so that we have a nice outer um, piece that will hold our documents in. So to do that, I'll need some glue stick, and I'll probably need to find another glue stick. Where did I put them? 
He might be next to me here. That's right, I have drawers next to me now. I keep forgetting I have them here. Oh, there it went. Let's see. Must be over here. Uh huh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hope I don't get feedback. I've got my headphones wrapped around my neck. And they're magnetic, so I hope it's not causing feedback on my mic. I will take them off here in just a second. When I don't have to worry about getting glue in my hair. That one, I'm not digging down in there. <coughs> I'm going to use this one if it comes out because on coffee dyed papers a lot of times the glue will kind of show through and I just don't like that look. It doesn't always happen but one corner. I'm attaching this corner right here and then I want to try and get it over to this one. Oh, it's not going to go on right you guys. Let's try it this way. Corner and corner. That would be corner and not coronor. We don't need the corner. I haven't had a heart attack yet from doing this. <clears throat> there we go. Now you can see that some of these, of course, because they're all different sizes, don't print clear to the edge, but that's okay because this one we want to look like an old document. So when it dries a little bit, we'll go ahead and tear the sides and probably right down along here because it had an original tear there anyway. So I'll wait to fold that and stuff when it's a little drier. <coughs> And let's come over here and use this piece of paper that I have. It is 8.5 by 11. And I have in here these maps and little papers. And on the outside or inside, it's lined. <clears throat> so what we need to do is fold over. I'm going to make as I go because... Oops, that better come over a little bit further. So we have enough area to slip documents behind here. Um, I have all different sizes of papers here. And so I don't think that is right. I think you're wrong. I don't know what I was saying actually, but I do know that I need my bone folder. I need to fold my bones. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat has had a frog all day. Where do frogs come from? I don't know. Now, if that looked like it was going to tear, I could use some washi tape there to secure that a little bit. 
um, which I may have to do because you can see it wants to tear through. Um, if I had just some regular tape I'd use that, but I don't. Not in here. So I may have to get some washi tape. We'll see. Um, I think we'll put this in as one of our documents. Uh, the pri private life of a G-man. Oh my. Well, I'm really after this ad here. So we have that. And then perhaps maybe they would want a sheet of um, paper in there that they could put on something. So let's cut one of these out of here. It's like pattern paper. I think this one, do we have to tear it a little bit smaller? I think we'll tear the sides off of it right here because we really don't need that part. And neither does the person that um, would buy the this piece in the journal, that would buy the journal that has this in it. Um, you know, unless of course they wanted to put words on it. Then, then they might want it. So let's go here. Ooh. I don't care if it drips kind of weird there. But mostly I just was thinking about the article, not the article, but the ad here for the can opener. Yeah, that's a pretty cool can opener. Okay, so we have that and we have this. So I guess the idea of this is that um, you would be able to um, send some things along with the journal, A Poet's Love. Something along with the journal that maybe they would enjoy or be able to use in their journal as background fodder or ephemera. And it's just some extra, extra stuff. It's a different way to get a bunch of ephemera together. Very cool. I like that idea. There's that. Um, I think when I put the music in there, what I need is a, a maybe a page out of here. Maybe they want to buy the encyclopedias. <laughs> Can't really do that, huh? Um, maybe they want a free sample of, um, old-fashioned family soap. So let's put some ads in there. That's some good ads back there. So there we go. We have all these wonderful things in here that can be used in the journal. And let's go ahead and Oh, what I was saying was, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make these as I go because I'm not timing myself. Um, <laughs> uh, I get too uh, sidetracked to, to time myself. But, if we can make a few, yay. If we can't, well... If we get caught up in something else, then we'll do something else. Here we go. Okay, we've got that part. Now let's 
hole punches. I'm going to use the bigger hole punch on this one. Um, the reason is, is that, um, what's my reason? I mean, oh, because I want to use um, some brads in here. And let's see, where's the brads? I have all kinds of brads, but I think we're looking for something kind of nice. Maybe just these, though, because these are fairly um, flat and could be used in another journal. There's the gunmetal gray. We'll go with that. And these are the fat brads. So that's why I wanted the, the bigger hole. So there we go. Now we don't want to tape these down or anything because, well, how are they going to get their ephemera out? They'd have to tear it out and then, you know, might as well make this a usable piece as well right here. Okay, so I'm just going to start by folding this piece of paper in, and then we're going to fold this to about there. And then, if we can, oh goodness, I don't know if I'm going to make it, you guys. I think I folded too far. I did. Okay, unfold. Fold this right about here, I guess. Okay, now this will go under there, like that. And then it can get folded here. Now that is a really nice and tall ephemera holder. And of course you could fill them way up if you wanted. Um, I will have to do something about that piece I got there. There we go. We'll just darken it up so it's, it says use me. I am a nice wrinkle. Okay, so there is our second one. Tied one and one done with uh, brads. Oh, my light. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can use this one. So first we'll fold it over like this. What you got, Miss Libby? And, oh, I was going to tear that, but I didn't. They can tear it. Okay, so let's put in there. I have some um, Etsy. These are the vintage history. And let's put in some receipts. Perhaps this one. that bottom one? I don't think so. Okay, so we have that. And this one we'll save for another one. Yeah, I finally decided I'm just going to buy a bunch of <coughs> the document um, pieces. 
<coughs> digitals so that I can just print out a whole slew of them and have them at the ready because it's the one thing that I'm always looking for is something to use as a document. So I can tell that I'm starting to get a little more organized on um, what I'm using and you know what uh, what will work better for me that kind of thing. <coughs> So, perhaps on this one here, we're making one for real documents. And mine, of course, are copies of real documents. And not, not the real thing anymore. But, you know, it's kind of nice to put the old stuff into your journal sometimes and be able to just look at it. It's fun and exciting and, you know, this is still such good paper. This is the coffee dyed paper I had. <coughs> Excuse me, I'd used. And, um... We can do some stamping on those, and we could actually include that if we wanted. That would be kind of cool, too. Um, oh, I don't want to lose who made these. Vintage history. Is that vintage? Yes, I believe so. I don't want to get it mixed up from Rachel's. And here's one more that maybe we could include. We'll leave this piece on it this time because it's going to be up there. And next one, maybe we'll put all of Rachel, not all of Rachel's, but because Rachel has a lot of wonderful documents, you guys. Um, I printed out quite a few. No, that's, not, that's not what I meant to say. I purchased quite a few. Oh, I took it off anyway. Look at me. <laughs> I purchased quite a few, and um, I would really love to just spend some time and um, get in there and um, really, you know, get the... Um, I don't know what I'm saying. See? My brain. There it goes. Did you see it? It just ran off. My brain ran away. That's okay. We don't need it right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, thinking and doing. Thinking and doing. And I keep losing my voice. And that's driving me up the wall. And then I have these little map things back here. Let's throw one of these in there. Maybe this one. Now they're just white on the back. So of course you could put something on them if you like. And I think that will be a really nice one. Now I need to put the holes in this on, you know, no no bigger than really this piece right here if I want to catch that in there so let me just mark approximately where I should put my holes just due to that paper <coughs> I am so sorry but my voice when it comes and goes it comes it goes <laughs> it goes more than it hops on board okay <coughs> excuse me 
So let's put on there. Um, there is a brass one that would go good with that. I don't know how many brass you recommend I have. Um, not many. There's some gold. We'll use the gold. Kind of like the brass looking ones better for this. So once again, we'll put those in the top. Flip it over. And just kind of straighten those out nicely. Oh, pretty, huh? I'm just going to fold that in a little bit here. And then we're going to fold this to here. <laughs> um, I'm folding that up just about two and a quarter inches. Right there. And then all of this goes under there and slips under. These are cool, Rachel. Thank you for coming up with this. And thank you for having so many beautiful digitals for sale. So there we go. Oh, I love this one. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's upside down, but you can turn it. And then once it's open, of course, it's not upside down anymore. But how cool is that? That one is really neat. Now, wouldn't you like to get that? That would be so fun. Yeah. And then I think this would look better if it were torn. But it's not. So. Okay, there is our third one. I love this. This is the coolest paper ever. Let's see what else Rachel has in her batch. Um, I love this one. I think this one's very cool. And... Yeah, I think so. And I think maybe we'll go with this on the inside. I didn't print out um, receipts on Rachel's this time, but here is some um, like ledger sheet, perhaps. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we're going to glue those two together. Oh, there goes my alarm. Hope oh, my husband turns it off. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. That alarm says Angela. Time for medication. And I say, I don't wanna. And then I say, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll go. But, some days I feel like having just a tantrum and saying, no, 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 I'm not going to, I'm going to go do something or fun. But this is fun. I love being in here. So, let's see. Um, Robin, I asked a question in my, um, uh, 
video today, earlier today, what you guys thought I should do with that beautiful 49 Market paper from uh, the kit with Shannon's at Mixed Media Minnesota. And Robin thinks, yeah, the file folder would be good because the paper is so, um, 49 Market is so thick that you could um, fold the pages and then you could still see both sides. So we could still utilize the, um, the beautiful papers. And for me, that would be a good thing for me to do because then I would um, learn not to um, buy double packs, maybe. Maybe I could not buy du double packs anymore if I could learn a new way of, um, oh dear, that um, glue made the ink that was on the, from the printer run. So, um, yeah, just, um, so it'd be a file folder style, but made right with that paper, I would think that I could put, um, a, you know, use some file folder in it as well. And uh, maybe the base. So I might have to come up with another paper. I'm sure I must have something that could be a base paper on the maybe just um, coffee dyed paper or avocado dyed paper would be enough to um, make a beautiful uh, inside on the journal. Oh boy, that looks nice, doesn't it? Let's do it out here too. I didn't tear the bottom because I thought about it. And then I thought, no, because once you tear the papers, the fibers get kind of thinnish. And if they got too thin, then it wouldn't fold up into the the top part like we want it to do. Okay, so I think this is probably the inside and this must be the outside. Or should it be this way? Nope. This way is it. Okay, we need some more documents in there. Let's do it. Do some documents. Okay, there's that one. This one is uh, Vintage and History. And then Rachel uh, Roxy Creations is this other one. Automobile Industries. This is 1937. It's harder to tear when it's sitting on another piece of paper. There we go. So we have that. Now let's put in um, let's put in a big receipt. This is uh, vintage and history. Uh, it, it it's a shop. I will put these things down in the description box. Put in um, 
one of Rachel's pieces here. How about this? There's a really pretty one. That's a pretty one. That looks cool. Oh, that one's kind of cool. How about a blue one, huh? Let's put that in. Oh, I printed out two of those. I think I like that one. Almost got it torn along that edge. <laughs> I tried. What could be more fun than tearing paper and hearing that sound? And, oh, it's so much fun. Okay, so we'll put this one in here. Let's put it at the bottom. <clears throat> It'll kind of separate things with the color that it is. There we go, yeah, I like that. Then it kind of shows up over there, doesn't it? And then let's put in one of um, Journalocity Shops pieces here and I think maybe I think maybe I will these would make nice um, journal pages wouldn't they any of them really would make perfect journal pages Okay, I'm not going to tear that edge off because I'll tear the whole thing up. Okay, so I'm going to put those in there. And I think maybe another piece of tissue paper should go in this one. back here I have these ones that I bought off of Etsy um, there is a dictionary page that would go good the back of course is white and um, you know so I think that would be good what do you think there's quite a little bit in there So let's see what we have to do. Now, before we do that, let's fold this over. It should be dry enough to do that now. I don't think it needs to be quite that deep. The important thing is just to be able to slide the other half in under it so it, it connects. Okay, now where's that big check thingy? There it is. Let's put it right here so that we can know where to put our holes. There we go. Now on this one, <coughs> I'm going to use this string. This is one of the thinner ones that I have. Uh-oh. I made a boo-boo. Look here. It's got a boo-boo edge. <laughs> Angela. Shame on you. There. 
now it's in the right spots. Now I gotta make more holes in it. <laughs> ah, the stuff that happens. Okay, once again, this is one of the thinner strings I have. Um, twine. I thought twine would look cool in this. Um, can I borrow somebody's thumb, please? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Why is this so hard to do? Oh, it's not. It was easy. So there we go. We could tie that in a bow up there if we wanted. That looks pretty cool. Okay, now we gotta fold this one in. And then we'll fold this one up. Right about there. Now this document's sticking out all over the place. It's a feisty one. But that's okay. We're going to get it contained. You know, um, using these documents on the outside like this, I mean, you don't need to do any more to it. It's, uh, you know, when they're plain like this, they need to be decorated up a little bit. But when they're like this and this, no, they look fantastic. I love them. Even this one's okay with just that um, double-sided paper I have, but it really needs to be decorated. Um, I'm not going to do that today, but I just wanted to um, make documents out of old documents. And these are kind of new old documents by um, downloading the digitals and... Boy, there is some nice ones. So I'm going to let you go. And um, yes, we'll be starting the 49 and Market um, file folder journal very soon. Um, I'm excited to get started on it. And uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I love all the color in it. It is something that I need right now is colorful and, and you know, even this. To me, it's colorful. It's the beautiful colors that are in it. You know, it, when it printed on this coffee dyed paper, oh my gosh. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And the, the, the writing on this and stuff, wow. Just amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, well, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you'll um, keep hanging out with me. It's a lot of fun for me, and I just love you guys to pieces, and I appreciate every one of you so very much. Um, your support is outstanding, and uh, I just love it. So thank you very much, and I will talk to you... Oh, uh, how about tomorrow? That be okay? I would like to talk tomorrow. Let me put these here so we can see what they look like. There. There we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. See y'all later. Bye.